ตอนนี้ตรงนี้ตรงเนี่ยสิก็ตึงจ่าใช้หมอเทียชัวร์ซอลังสตูยาลูชิเฮอร์วากาตาต่อชาชิใช้เดินนอยจะชัวร์มง
ตัวคาพิทีนอดปากุตาเจปากุกูจิมโปสัวเพลเลยเทปากุกูตอรงยอลอสันนิฮุนอเจคันดาเทียคอสอดอปากุมุลุมเบอ่าวอดปากุชง
ก็ชื่อดาวเบชัวเชยปาตอริจานะเนาะแต่ปะกูเทลีอ่าลอนดาเบอืมถาดมวกจะตะมึงเนาะเจ้าละมูยิงโดโฮเจ้าซีดีออ
um, teaching non-Hmong Americans who the Hmong are and why the Hmong are here, and um, just some ideas for moving forward. And that's where it all started. ตัวเจ้าสินะตัวอินเวสติเกตนะเจ๋อเราอย่างชีวะเราตัวเราเราอยู่ที่เราอยู่ที่ปุ๊บเจ๋อหมดที่ดิแต่เราเราเราอย่
So what did you just uh, what did I just told okay. I just told Shomo a little bit about Zach. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah. Well one thing I wanna add Oh your adopted son. Yeah. yeah. Um, I grew, I was born in 1957, and so as a little girl, when I would come home at night, I would see the Vietnam War on the television. And as a newsman, I'm sure you can understand that was the biggest story, along with all the, the civil rights that was happening and the students protesting the war in America. And I was so horrified by what I saw on the television that I almost couldn't watch it. Um, but I didn't even know about the mom part. And it's such a wonderful story because I learned, the more I found out about Schoenberry, I found out here was a young man who was born in a refugee camp. And if I believe he was born in Watakarbo, I could be wrong. But he was born in a very violent um, situation and he was in involved with some gangs in the United States but that's all he knew mm -hmm. and the first time I heard Ning Xiao mm -hmm. um, my father speak was when he explained yes he was involved with some things he shouldn't have been but he didn't do anything that deserved him to lose his life and all of a sudden a lifetime of emotion flooded into me and I thought this is my opportunity to look at a Hmong leader, the Hmong elder Ning Xiao and say thank you because I had just been learning how strong of an ally the, the Hmong had been to the CIA but even as Americans we didn't know and the more and more Hmong elders I talked to I I've, I've found out that was their pain that the veterans would come and say, we fought and we thought the Americans knew we were the, the friends and allies, but we didn't know about it. So I made the promise um, that I would speak of the Hmong from, you know, this is my life work now, to tell the Hmong story so that every non-Hmong American can understand that the Hmong are here because we asked for your help and you gave it, you made us the promise, and you kept it. And I don't think we kept our promise too well. So that's one reason I am so committed to the, to the community. Mm. <laughs> ผู้คอมมูนิตี้ตัวนั้นเป็นชิตานะเจ้าคุจีเตาอ่ะอืมกําลังในช่องตอหลอให้ลอลูเฮียตุตุน่ะยิงอัวเตคอชิจงเลย
your um, volunteer services to the community, both Hmong and non Hmong. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, fortunately, I, I grew up in a family that was um, very involved in terms of giving their time um, in the poor communities. My parents are 81 and 83, and they still go two times a week to the soup kitchen to help feed the hungry. And we grew up, my brothers and sisters and I, seeing that. So um, a, a lot of the things that I'm interested in um, are related to the refugees that have been forced to come to this country because, not because they really want to, but they're forced to because their own homes have been destroyed by war or, you know, terrible circumstances. And a lot of times, American foreign policy is behind that destruction. So, one thing that I've learned as a civil rights activist and a social justice advocate is um, when I was first in grad school I thought okay I'm gonna learn these things and then I'm gonna go to these communities and help them but what I've learned is it's the communities that have helped me become a better human being by teaching me about community and what I learned from the Hmong and from many other refugee communities, the, the Muslim community, um, the Chaldean community, um, the Hispanic Latino community, um, is that community is important and families are important and that people know how to take care of themselves. The Hmong as a community know how to take care of themselves. They don't need and they don't want other people doing things for them. So um, my involvement has become somewhat more of a facilitator where I try to encourage people and not so much help them but help them learn their own strengths and so that it's the community itself that's doing the work. And so I'm, I'm sort of a, in chemistry there's a word called a catalyst where you sort of start a fire under something and get it started. And especially in Detroit and in Michigan with so few Hmong, I believe that we're very fortunate to have the youth that we have. Um, they form some very um, important groups that I'm happy to say I've been part of um, and help them realize a pride that they didn't know about and a, a desire to learn about their history and I've learned from all these communities and all my civil rights work that we all want our families to be safe we want our families to have schools to go to we want our families to live in peace and those are the common things and when we look at the common things it's easier to get along because we really aren't that different. And so in, in my social justice work, um, when I'm in a situation, I try to get the group that I'm with to say, I can do this good or I can do this good. And then together you form a team based on everybody's strengths. And that's what happened um, after Sean Berry died and now his death was not in vain because the youth have learned to take a stand and have a voice in, in Detroit from that situation. Okay. Mm ตอนนี้เราอยู่ตรงแค่ไหนอ่ะตอนนี้มันเกิดเดาเกิดเดาแล้วอย่างอย่างนี้มันมุไซในข้อว่าอาซิบแล้วอย่างนี้มุไซใน
identify you to king they buy you the country you to king they willing to not yet um uh you know my back with the um down on the day all you know gino monks that she what all you are hispanic you are muslim and in shower middle east we got you open a more more jaw caldian okay then i may eat your ít bao nhiêu trong này mong nhớ tới chấm lo này, khảo viện này nhảy cho ethnic group nhớ hồ tới chợ Iraq, thì bác cụ nhân sơ cho nó tới xin chết, thì lỡ lũ họ phe mà tới chỉ nhà thì, vô ba có có thấy cụ nó mù chia, vô lớn năng mà giờ mù rong đi lại vậy, đó chỉ lũ họ phe mà giờ ba có đã cá là mù chia các thuộc khác này thì có những linh tư nữa nè, thì nhớ này chẳng thể biết cho mình nhỏ tôi không thích cho nó nè, dù tôi chỉ bỏ thì vô linh tư nữa nè. เจ้าเจ้าอยู่ที่ชิปอยู่เรื่องถือก็หามุมว่าเราจ้อเราหมู่ให้เด็กก็อยู่ชัววันนี้นอนนี่นอนนะเจ้าอืมเลิกว่าว่าโอ้โหเลิกว่าเตะโอ้โหเลิก confuse แล้วสิยาก็หมู่ว่าเทียนเลยให้เด็กอืมเลิกอยู่เรื่องถือนะเจ้าเลยจะกัดเจ้าเชื่อเราเลยทุกเข่งเจ้าคนนี้เขาก็ป้าตัวเราเทียนเจ้าอย่างนี้นึกคอมเมจเจอว่าตอนนึกจนกันได้เจ้าอย่าง chemistry เจ้าอย่างโอ้โห cái cho cái cỡ nào mà mà nó mới lo luôn thì catalyst này này thì trái tốt thì bên lũ mông mà có giờ ít tụi scientist thì có lúc họ phê mà giờ chủ là chịu chịu nó chị giờ này có một chỗ tôi lúc bây giờ chú tư này người chi dạy liên tục bị là thì có một mặt chơi cả nó lo lo tôi này thì người chân người ta này người chân người ta cho giờ bên ua nào mà bên giờ chủ mua cà phê này mà đi walk on the lot lot uh, mm, to make it short <laughs> just Sorry. to get the point across okay yeah can you uh, elaborate a little bit about mainstream um, your service to mainstream mm -hmm. yeah um one of the most important projects that I feel I've been had I had the honor to be involved with was a project through the Department of Justice, um, and the city I was born in, Hamtramck, used to be a hundred percent Polish. It is now um, the biggest Bengali gateway. I think thirty-five percent uh, Bengali, um, still Polish, African American, Serbian, Croatian, Russian, Muslim. Um, Chaldean, all different ethnicities, and I was able to work. Um, what I was was a liaison between the different ethnic groups and the police department, and it was very um, fulfilling and satisfying for me because I was able to sit with the police and say, "This culture believes this, and they don't. They may not realize that it's against the law here." Or, for example, um, you know, the Muslims have certain customs in, for, in terms of their eating and food. They don't have pork and things like that. So I had to do little simple things like saying, well, if we have a meeting, we can't serve alcohol. And um, we also did a lot of work um, with different gangs. And I have found that most young people join gangs because they want a sense of belonging. And this is one of the main things that I have taken from the Hmong and that I think America needs to take from the Hmong is that the Hmong have maintained a sense of community and I feel it in every wedding I go to, every Hmong funeral, every Hmong celebration, every Hmong soccer tournament, I feel the sense of community and togetherness. And so many non-Hmong American youth don't have that belonging, and so they turn to gangs to, to have that sense. So we were able to, um, I learned a lot about how to handle situations in that very diverse community just by getting to know the Hmong and see how the Hmong survived um, from Laos. I mean, no Americans can really say, unless they're forced refugees, that they've been through the great losses that the Hmong have, but yet still come out as happy, joyful human beings. And 
that's what amazes me and, and brings you know brings me always to the to the gatherings because it's um it's the sense of community I believe that have made the Hmong survivors and, and Americans can learn so much from that that no matter what happens if you stay together as a community <coughs> you're stronger you know okay you want me to mm -hmm. so my turn right yeah <laughs> <laughs> sorry I can't yeah. find it. okay um Paku Kao Leon Wado Sha Matia Wado Mikan Wado Mainstream Maya Department of Justice, uh, District Attorney, มีการอะไรอ่ะแต่ชินอลูจอเนี่ยเนาะแต่มาถูกมาอีโปรเปอร์เซ็นต์เนี่ยจะนึงโพลิชซึ่งตัดสินตัดชินอลจะนึงมั
and he came to Warren to our city and I really wasn't aware of who he was um, until I walked in the room and I walked in right when he walked in and I had never experienced like everybody stopped breathing there was no sound and I realized how much reverence and how sacred and special he was to the Hmong people and so um, I got to meet him and do a kite and um, he just inspired me um, when I saw how much work he had done to bring the Hmong as many as he could safely to other countries. Um, it just made me even more committed to the community. Shortly after that, um, um, the Graves Committee asked if I would be an advisor um, because I really was stunned when I learned of the situation of the graves being destroyed in Thailand and I know as as an American as a Polish American that nobody would accept that for our own families and I felt the sacrifice that the Hmong made for, um, for America, the Hmong have always kept their promise. And so I wanted to do at least a small thing to say thank you. And that's why I agreed to be an advisor to, to the committee. And that was in about 2009 or 10. And that's when I started my work um, with that, with the uh, Graves Committee. and. Um, Stop <coughs> ตอปอนี่ผมว่าปอยจะเธอจ้องแต่ <coughs> เอ่อตัวนั้นน่ะนี่มั่วรู้คือฉีกอะไรนี่มั่วเอ่อรู้คือพวกโรงจ่ายเอ่อพอยอวอตอเชเดนายมูเอ่อมั่วรีสเปค
Thailand experience. Talk, talk about the grade a little more. Yeah. Well, I remember in, in 2010, I attended uh, a national, uh, the Hmong National Grave Desecration Committee conference in uh, Wisconsin. And uh, I remember standing with a group of people and we, we promised that we would stand together one day in Thailand and accomplish our mission to put the, these ancestors to rest <coughs> into peace. And even in that moment, I thought, how can we do this? There's so many obstacles. Um, and of course, that was seven years ago. It took seven years of planning and hard work, um, trying different strategies, working with the United Nations, the Thai government, the Thai people, the Buddhists. And um, when we finally found out um, that December 18th of 2016, we were actually going to be able to get possession of the deceased and put them in a safe place that the Thai villagers had agreed to. Um, a very generous Thai donor had donated the land. Everything was done so that uh, there would be no future problems, um, that the people that would be buried would be safe. And it was hard for me. For me, um, the Hmong community was very generous in helping me raise the money to um, for my airfare, and I got a, um, I did a fundraiser and got some more funds. But I have to say that next to having my children, um, having the honor of actually carrying some of the deceased people to their final resting place was the biggest honor. As we walked, as I would walk holding a person, I would just say, I appreciate the honor. Please let me be your legs. And I appreciate what the Hmong have done for me as an American. And that I promise you, you all, this is your final resting place, and it's beautiful, and it will be peaceful. And um, it's still hard, as you can tell, I get emotional. It was such an honor for me that the committee and the, and the military and the officials allowed me to go and actually be part of, of you know, finalizing the graves and, and putting the people to rest and um, it's I feel it was a small part there we put 218 people to rest I wish it could have been more but it was the best we could do and I feel as an American it was something I could do for all non Hmong Americans as a symbol and my friends were all supportive to say thank you. Thank you to the Hmong for your allegiance and your, your friendship and for all the soldiers that were saved. Um, it was an honor and a blessing um, to be part of that. <coughs> สดเนื้อเสร็จเตะเทศสวนเนื้อลูกซุ่นเนี่ยปั้วจะปักซาม่องเนี่ยจะมุ่งเทียโหระลูกชายโอโรกันเนี่ยเดี๋ยวกูอ
ขอนอตเตียแล้วย่อจะรัฐมนตรไทกล่าวไม่จะประชาแล้วก็รอเจเหนือยอยทุมูเอก่อนหนึ่งส่วนก็ลูกเขามือปอดส่วนนึงออสเตรเตโตตัวนะเอกูกูแฮปเป็นเรียกว่าเป้จอกเกศาแต่กูจีโตเจอใช่เลยเป็นลูกเชษาได้ใช่ไหมหนึ่งกูอยากให้เขาสเตรเอเตียละเอขนาดอยากให้เขาเอาเรื่องหนึ่งมั่วกี้ร้องเชียร์ไอเตียว่าอืมหนึ่งว่าตัวนี้จะใช้ต่อไอเตียอยากให้เขาว่าโปโตเจตุนชิตาคาโตจอกมุ่งว่าเคยป้าอเมริกาเราเลยนะมามาเจ้าเนี่ยนี่เนี่ยตัวไอตัวซิติซินเดอร์รู้ติดเชนอะไรไอตัวนั่งอยู่รู้ติดเชนอะไรเนี่ยปอดเจ้าก็ไม่ให้คอว่าไอคอออนเนอร์อย่างไอคอไอเจ้าเป้เออวันนึงย่อว่าก็ก็ปอดกูกูปอดก็นะมามาลูกป้าเป้เราเป้ยตัวป้าลูกเท่านั้นเจ้าเนี่ยผู้ซื้อเจ้าก็ไม่ใช่คอ你 return 你 call favor， 大家都懵，你八懵，你考你过那么一遍，你啊到过你就不差，就你好，你啥子你就没都没有啊？这要要这要要要不交呢？不好要容易加呢？嗯，这可能要考啊，你莫考啊，嗯，路线，莫系路，比较懵一点咯。这边你等我话，你弄八个杯就懵，到到我想你八。ขอจะจเดอขอบคุณเชลมงอเมริกันนเนี่ยเกิดตัวจากเนี่ยขอรงจาก since you um, since you you know become involved with um, these issues or the Hmong and uh, what have you learned from that experience and what do you see as You know the difference between the two culture because you're actually crossing uh, a multicultural mm -hmm. uh, yeah mm -hmm. world here. So, um, Shomong wants to know what you what you learn from it and what do you see as the difference in um, so touch a little okay. bit on that. Yeah. What I would like to say is that what I've learned from the Hmong is that. Community is so important, and the Hmong are people that have experienced losing everything that they had, but yet remain joyful. And I believe, especially in this, at this moment in history, in our country, our country um, of America, which is. America's history is Hmong history. Hmong history is America's history because we are together. We are allies together, and I believe it's crucial that the Hmong maintain their sense of community, that they respect the traditional ways. Of course, um, education is important, and I know there are a lot of um, efforts underway so that the Hmong youth. Can get the best opportunities for education, but I would also be very happy to know that the old traditional ways are not forgotten. And I I believe there are three main things that need to happen, or that I would love to be part of, that I think are important. First is to um, make The whole world aware of the Hmong culture and what the contribution has been and continues to be. And I've said this many times. Charlie has heard this, but America is not perfect, but America is a better place because of the Hmong. We're stronger. We've learned human kindness from a people in a community that have lost so much, but can still have joy. And still come together as community almost every weekend when a family has a crisis or something to celebrate. In America, we are taught to be individuals, and in a sense that that is good and that can make us healthy in certain ways. But especially today, with limited resources and the world changing, and 
more and more people experiencing poverty, we absolutely need to learn from the Hmong that it is family and community and working together that helps people survive and maintain human, the human spirit. Because if you just look out for yourself, in the end, you're alone. And what do you have? เอ่อพอปักกูป่อเอ่อปักกูเลิร์นอ่าสิกาวตอลอนเดอะว่ามงเนี่ยมาอยากขอหาเจมงเนาะอ่าขอมงย้อมมัวปามอปอนย้อห
um, and that there be efforts made so that the language is preserved. Um, I spent two months at the University of Wisconsin in Madison studying Hmong, which was one of the most difficult academic experiences of my life. I also agreed to wash dishes at a Thai restaurant so I could hear the Hmong chefs speak. Um, and that's how much desire I have to learn Hmong. And I know sometimes I'm surprised that a lot of Hmong youth are losing the language. So I have written some, some proposals that I would eventually like to see happen where there are regular language classes taught and in addition to that, um, celebrate the culture, the customs, the costumes, um, the dances, the music, um, the stories, um, all the, the fairy tales that the elders tell. I think um, there's a lot of concern on all Americans' part these days for their children to have jobs and to succeed, but I think we also need to realize that not every young person wants to be a doctor or a lawyer. There's many different shoes to fill, and that as parents, we allow our children to pursue the things that make them happy human beings, and that can be confusing at times, but um, I guess I wouldn't say it's a concern, but my hope is that with General Vang Pao gone now, the work has been transferred to us, and we must now take on that work of maintaining the culture. Um, General Vang Pao fought and worked to bring the Hmong people here, um, and I don't believe his intention was for the Hmong to lose the Hmong identity. So I believe and my hope is that it can become stronger and that there be understanding between the faith traditions and um, just more celebration of the culture and effort to have mainstream non-Hmong Americans exposed to who the Hmong are. Because when I tell what I know of the Hmong experience to my non-Hmong friends, they, they want to know it, they want to know the story, they're hungry for, for the story. Because they feel it's an important part of history that was not learned, that we weren't, learn that we weren't taught. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. Do your best. How um, Pakupa, yeah, um, pay John Hong, you told, um, Laya pay John Pinang, eh, your, your, um, wallet on day, and I'm a pay your two, uh, no, a boy, but that she got pay Lang Pao, I dear, pay day, party, burn on your gate, John. She has shut up for a bit of that poor, yeah. Shall leadership no new sheets out, and she pay you to, uh, so she tell her, pay you to long, um, she you okay. If I know you are pitily, you are survived the day, pitily, you are not all the day. Um, you told one, ten pity, um, Kali get that, eh, yali, Papa Ku, Tomoka, and Dania pay, um, University of Medicine, tàu y tá xong nè, bác cũng muốn cởi cho mốt cũng cho đỡ mốt nè. Thì thầu còn đây là bác cũng cố là vào nên chia ô hô lên, hồi lúc lan nó mò mốt ấy còn tàu nó mốt hay lù xí chua lù xé nữa rồi đi trà nè thì bác cũng bỏ thì bây giờ mình nhớ là xí nó mới ít cho tới chừng chắc chỉ bao nhiêu giờ lù lại thì thế rồi à bé chỉ hay sợ xoay nên tôi nhớ thì chuyện đó mà bé bố xua rồi mà ở đâu tới rồi mà ở lối rồi à, cái cả bé muốn nhiều muốn chia sẻ, đó là bé từ lúc đó là bé đã tạo chuyện bé tê truyền thống, bé tê cổ truyền, 
sản đời thế hệ cả thế lý trọ thì à thì phải mua chầu nghe sự chế sản thành thì họ phải lưu phải có identity đời thế nên thế học tập cũ bỏ thì cho chủ mua balance nào mà thì tôi còn đây là nếu có phải lọt ra thì à tại sao nói như thế nào chứ à mấy con anh cho biết chưa lại thì như vậy thì luôn trả thì bông là tôi phải có cụ bé à cho đời nhiều tàu để hỗ trợ tàu uống một tuần để nhá, thì có và ít có message thì người ta mua được bé cho mong mà người ta có bé giờ muốn chơi nhà tư là tàu, bé giờ muốn chơi nhà sân sân nhà tư là tàu tất nhiên có bé có bé có culture celebration để nhà và rong về mua hay thì là kiến trình thì là dù có culture nào mà người người xuất giàu này cái sao thì cũng muốn chứng nhận nó rồi thì cũng cái mối quan hệ có chờ ở để celebration cho nó mất cho cái chuyện ta thì để cho chú bò thì bây giờ mong lại thì bác cũng có message số thay cho nó à nếu chỉ chỉ là mong sửa mong lần đầu hay là tôi nhớ thấy cho nó bả thì bả thì nó mong lại à từ năm nay nữa cô cho tôi ăn chỉ chừng chừng cho mong ở cô chỉ tôi nói là sát thả tôi mong chứ à what's your Message uh, since we're coming to uh, uh, to enclose. Yeah. Okay. What is your message to maybe to the youth or to, to the monk community overall? Um, okay. Yeah. It is my hope that the monk community understands their strength, the strength of the community, the strength of all the individuals. It astonishes me when I think that 50 years ago, the Hmong were tribal uh, farmers in the hills of Laos, leading simple lives, uh, with no experience of the Industrial Revolution, really. Um, and to, within a span of five or six decades, to go through the agricultural epoch to the industrial and post-industrial and to survive and come out as healthy, strong communities. I, I, it, I can't say more in tribute to the strength of the humanity of the Hmong and we have so much to learn. and. I've learned enough from the Hmong to know that I myself don't know, I know more about the Hmong than I know about being Polish. So I'm starting to teach myself a little bit more about being Polish. But I would say um, the Hmong are an inspiration to all humanity. The efforts that were made to um, graciously rebury the remains of the 218 human beings that were desecrated. No other culture has done that. And I believe the Hmong are an example to the world. And I believe that this information needs to be shared and it will become of more use to more and more refugee communities as time goes by. Again, America is a great country. We're not perfect. We're, we're greater because of the Hmong. And my hope is that the Hmong culture maintains its strength and lets more people learn about it because it, would, it will help us all be better human beings, better Americans, and better neighbors. Mm -hmm. Lalu sutai na je ya, kos yang jong ada je luar de, wah jual community na. Je luar na, telah tu neng sini kei jono cawa, de sedar ya tu lama oke. Sebab tiap macam tu kita ni de mobil dia cicu sion tal le, na mung nhớ tới chợ thì u mà như nhớ bộ liều tê nó sẽ dạ nhớ luôn nên à bộ liều tê sẽ tới sự tin giải mua sẽ chơi 
，拢一个做帮助在做话，嗯，沙了在做第二个，一个做帮助在做话，去哪去好乱的话，给做给做主持呀，呃，这可能有一个话，梦想嘛都冇阿达到呢，梦想嘛都冇做到，这可能有一个，一路做话，一个让我梦摸，呃，这有领导呢，这啊。第二呢，也第二，比较多，包括点，嗯嗯，呀，比如说，佮要考上比较多，整整体，到看到了，过末第二呢，啊，嗯，比如期末，呃，比如伊还能每次都是，比如本事，我末到哩啊，熬不过伊都接哦，那么考呢，就那就就大家了就，就大家了招末末末出早出招了，懂了吗？嗯。誒第二、第二、六六係另一條路，都我知道道理，俾我聽。第二呢，第二話，用嘅俾嘅俾啊，同埋第二呢 ，share 到話六六六 community 嚟講，啊，要好用嘅道理聽。誒，好多好少俾聽，係咪？誒，好正正出到幾個俾啊，嗯，正俾，俾啊啊，俾好用，俾啲。เปรูเปรูจ่อว่าเขาสกรีนนั่นหมายถึงเขาจะเปรอะเขาวัวตัวเปรนั่นล็อกล็อกจะเปรย้อนตรงเคอร์กันเถอะอย่างเปรวันนี้น่าสนใจเปรเทเลียสบายนี่ก็น่าอยากเขาประกุเขารู้สาวตัวเป็นเกี่ยวกับนู่นนะวัดชอบประกุวัดชอบวัดชาลีก็จะพัฒนาดูเทียบจนดังเป็นคนที่จะเป็นเจ้าหน้าที่ที่จะได้กุญแจเจ้าก็ลองดูเกี่ยวกับท่านนู้นนั่นเราไปกู้เราจะเจอหน้าเทียนเราเราตุ้ดเราชาลีเราตุ้ดใส่รู้เนี่ยเราต้องหน่อยว่าจบเราต้องการที่จะเจอหนึ่งจึงใช้เป็นสุขภูมิเทียบจนดัง